Hello everyone, thank you again for joining me. I am hoping that you're still enjoying these videos. You seem to be watching them and there's awesome comments and it's awesome to kind of be part of this. Um, I'm actually glad the experiment worked. Today I thought we'd look at Dreamweaver. I know we've, we've jumped around and looked at some code things and bits and pieces, but I wanted to look at Dreamweaver more as your companion in packaging all your website files. So I'm actually gonna jump out of the Dreamweaver app and go to my desktop. On my desktop, I'm going to make a new folder. Um, I can leave it untitled, but you know you probably have too many of those anyway. So I'm just going to call it website. Um, don't get fancy with it unless you're making multiple websites. That's perfectly valid. Then I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver, and in Dreamweaver, I'm going to say, all right, I want to make a new file. From the new file menu here, I'm going to create a new document, which is a HTML document. Um, I'm going to leave all of these defaults. If you've got a very old version of Dreamweaver, you might have like HTML4. That's fine for the tests that we're doing here, but um, obviously you want to be doing HTML5. 5 is better than 4. It has more stuff in it. It's a little bit easier to write, blah, blah, blah. Um, 5 is good. Leave it there. You can put your document title in there, but we'll leave it all on the defaults just to create this thing. It will make a file here for you. It will leave it as untitled document because we didn't give it a title. Um, you can rename that obviously and it will also say up the top here untitled but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it into my website folder so this is the website folder where I made I'm going to rename it to index.html this is the home page your home page is always called index there's a whole story behind it which we'll skip but I can tell you another day when you save it this page as it is will now be saved into your website folder so if we open that up, there it is, there's index. Um, and then that index page, if you grab a browser, let's just say I grab a browser here, and you grab the index page and you just drop it in, it will render that page. My blank page of awesomeness is right in front of us. It's also called untitled document at the top. And if you remember, we can always you know inspect element on these things and we can say, show me the code and it will go, well, look, the code for this particular page is, let's just make this a little bit bigger, and I might actually you know, hide this bit, and I might make this bigger. Here's all the code. There's an empty body, a head with some metadata, a title, and the HTML and doc type. That's it. That's all we've got. So what I do then is I go, well, all right, what if I go back to Dreamweaver, and what if Dreamweaver, I change this untitled document to... Um, websites are fun to make, right? Let's create one of these self-fulfilling prophecies and see if that works. Now, the moment I do that, there's a little thing that happens. Now, obviously, this does not change what I was just looking at um, because I haven't saved the page. I get this little asterisk up in the top right-hand corner here telling me you have not saved. Therefore, if you go back to your browser, nothing will change. So I'm going to go File, Save. Asterisk is gone. Put this aside and I'm just going to refresh the page. And now we have websites are fun to make at the top and we also see it here in the title. I still don't have anything in the body of the page, but that's okay. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to doctor that up. So we go here. This is my area, my design area at the top here. Um, I just need to click add a live view and into design. Then I can actually type some stuff in here. So um, my awesome heading and then some random text. Now if you notice at the bottom, the reason you like Dreamweaver is because it's actually writing some code for you down here. And as it writes it, it basically means that you don't have to. Um, there's another properties panel here that you can get, which is kind of awesome because from here you can then highlight a bit of text and from the drop down go, hey, I'd like to make that a heading one, which will make it nice and big. All it does is it changes that paragraph tag for you from a H1 to a, you know, from a P to a H1. Um, you could change that one to a H2, same, same kind of deal, um, as long as you change this as well, and it will get bigger. But then you can change your mind and go, actually, I don't want it to be a heading two, I want it to be a paragraph. So Dreamweaver is awesome in that sense that it, it writes the code for you that way. Now remember, we still haven't saved it because we've got that little asterisk. So we'll go here, we'll go File, Save, and then we'll just have a look and see if that worked. Refresh that, and there it is. My awesome heading, some random text, and websites are fun to make. 
that's all we've done. We've just dived in, we wrote some of that text, we used Dreamweaver to write that code, and we modified that particular tag that it had ready for us. And all of that got saved into this index page. And so we've got basically our very first website page complete. All thanks to Dreamweaver and all hidden away in the website. Now we'll come back and we'll do more stuff, but this should be enough for you to practice with and get an idea of what it is that we're doing. Um, but then just go back into Dreamweaver and see how much more you can do with that properties panel. You know, go into your windows and go to your properties panel and see what else you can do. See how many, you know, little bits and pieces you can modify here in terms of that. Now, this is just HTML. There's no CSS yet, and CSS is where we kind of make it fancy. And do remember that you're going to need to switch out of Live View because Live View basically gives you this preview, but you can't do too much in there if you haven't got it already. So once, once I'm in there, I can modify some things, but I can't easily create these um, heading ones and heading twos uh, on Live View as I can in Design View, just because Design View allows me to sloppily just type some text in and then use the properties panel. So keep that in mind. Um, as well as that's happening on the side here, you see the DOM, which is the document object model, um, showing you all the little tags that you've been creating along the way. So you can also go in there and you can add some stuff um, and modify it that way. So we'll get familiar with it as we go along um, and hopefully you'll be you know, enjoying this. And if you refresh your little website, you'll also see that you've got your index page in there, which is the one that's inside of your website folder. So very cool stuff that you can make. Um, if you don't have this, that, that's, that's a whole other thing that we can do. But it shows you what Dreamweaver is good at, which is collecting this stuff and giving you the ability to modify it without too much drama. Um, so don't be afraid to try it. But remember, we're just learning bits and pieces. We're learning code. We're learning design stuff. And we're looking at Dreamweaver as a tool. We can definitely explore some other things. But let me know in the comments how you go. Uh, and if you have other questions or if you want to look at some other things, do tell me as well and we'll delve into that very, very soon. All right. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.